Well, welcome back to Hollywood Sound Systems. We're currently moved into our building and things are starting to go back to the way they were before. Um, but we have still our clients that are calling us looking to problem solve, essentially. One of the clients that has come to us is looking to do a PM5D, but does not want to run a long, long copper snake of upwards of 48 channels. As you know, a mass cable can be pretty thick around, so to be able to run that 300 feet, that's pretty, pretty hefty tasks. Well, what we've done here is we've taken this PM5D, and if you take a look at the back of the mixer here, we put in two Dante cards just to give us 32 channels for now, but allowing us to not have this huge mass snake and not to have every single input taken up. But also, because we're working on a non-RH a non version of the Yamaha PM5D, we now technically do have recallable head amps in the sense that we're running the Rios that come with Yamaha's CL5 and Dante co compatible consoles. So from here, because we're able to do just two Cat5 cables into a Dante switch, we're able to run upwards of 300 feet to the two Rio boxes that'll be at front of house. If you wanted to go further, you could take this a step further and do this through optical cable. And with the optical cable, you're, you're talking about miles rather than feet and doing that. And we have all that available here. So because we're able to do all this through two redundant Cat5 cables, we're not having to worry about running a huge mass snake and doing that, but also too, it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to set up. Also, because we're running now a digital system, we're not as concerned with ground loops as we would normally be if we had a completely 100% analog system. Now, one of the reasons that we have this console out here is that we know that it does work, but we were not sure if it worked with the non-RH version of the PM5D. But because the PM5D does have a head amp remote control, we're actually able to connect to the Dante cards and switching the mode of the cards to have the console actually control the remote preamps. In doing so, we had to set it up and make sure it really did work. And today, we were able to find out that we are able to make it work. So by doing so, we knew that we have a proof of concept and we knew that as well, we can send the system out and recommend the system to anyone that's looking to have basically a digital snake system and be able to run upwards of 300 feet without having to run a giant copper snake and doing that as well too. So hopefully you guys can come down and visit us at 4209 Van Owens Street uh, in Burbank, California. Uh, come check out what we're doing. If you have any issues and stuff like that, come to us. We'll be happy to help you try and figure them out. Thanks again and hope to see you soon.